What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be doing a full face first impressions on a bunch of new makeup. There's been so many new things and a lot of them are like glowy, more like natural glowing skin products. So I'm so excited. I've been all about that recently to test everything out and let you guys know what's good and what's not. There's been so much new stuff that I kind of split it up. This one is going to be mostly higher end new products. And I'm also going to be doing a new face of new drugstore products too. So that'll be coming soon, but I do have some ColourPop and more affordable options in today's video as well. I am a little bit under the weather, so I'm sorry if I sound annoying. I feel like I can hear my own voice doesn't sound right. I don't know if you guys will be able to, but I think I have a sinus infection. I'm going to the doctor's a little bit later today. So not feeling so hot, but you know what? Nothing makes me feel better than playing with new makeup. So I'm excited and this will probably be like my own little medicine. And by the end, hopefully I'll be feeling a little better. But yeah, without further ado, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you're notified of all my future uploads. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, before we jump into the makeup today, like I said, it's a lot of like glowier products. We're not working with a lot of like full coverage products. So we are going to talk a little bit of skincare because honestly my skin, not to like toot my own horn, but this is probably the best it's been in a very, very, very long time. I feel like I finally have found products that really work for me that really show results. So I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Ladora. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I use their Velve Pro Facial Wand. If you followed me for a while and you've seen my skincare journey, I basically went for most of my life without having acne. I had very good skin. Then as an adult, I started to get really bad acne. I had a lot of acne on my chin and I tried so many different things. One thing that I found on my skincare journey that did really work for me is red light and blue light therapy. I actually found out about it from my facialist. When I go in and get in-person facials from an esthetician, she always used blue light therapy on me, which is really good for acne. And then red light therapy, which is great for collagen production and anti-aging. And she would always do that during the facials. I used to use this big mask for my red and blue light therapy, but with that, it was heavy. You had to like actually lay down or it would like fall off of your face. It needed to be plugged in and it was big. So it wasn't like portable or anything. You were definitely not traveling with it. It wasn't that easy to use. And because of that, I wasn't using it every single day, which is what I would recommend if you wanna use red light or blue light therapy in your skincare routine to implement it for just like five minutes per day, which is exactly what you can do with this one. It's so much easier to use because it's super small. I put it in my drawer, I grab it out, do my five minutes on my face, sometimes in the morning, sometimes at night, depending on when I have a little extra time and make such a difference. One thing that I really like with this, you can use it either horizontally or vertically, but when I turn it on, because of my lights, I feel like you can't see it, but you'll see it's red on my face. But then if you click this button right here, it'll turn it to blue. So this product does both red light and blue light, which a lot of them don't. They either do one or the other. You would need to get two different products. So I love that this uses both red light and blue light therapy. Blue light therapy, really, really great for acne. So I go in with that blue light on my chin area, which is like my bad area. It's gonna help heal existing acne, but also prevent future acne from coming because it can penetrate and actually kill the bacteria. Now the red light is great for collagen production, anti-aging, wrinkles, dark spots, sun damage, and you can easily switch back and forth with this. So I'll normally use the blue light when I'm down here and then I'll use the red light pretty much everywhere else on my face. I'll show you guys exactly how I use it. You wanna go in with the serum. Lador does have this watermelon gelato serum. So I'm gonna go in with this. This will help provide some slip to your face. So I just drag it on my face like this. You always wanna go upwards with products. You never want to like pull downwards on your skin. So I will just go like this. It will shut off after five minutes, which is nice. So you'll know when your five minutes is up, it does heat up. So it feels really, really nice too, but that also helps to improve your skin's permeability and blood flow, which is going to allow those serums to penetrate deeper into your skin. So I'm just going to go like this. And basically it's a five in one product. So not only does it have the red light and the blue light therapy, but it also has microcurrent stimulation. And this will help to smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and kind of gives you like a little facial massage, especially with that warmth. Like it just feels really, really nice. And the sonic vibration, that it has also helps to reduce puffiness. So if you want to use it like right underneath your eyes, you can also do that too to help deep puff in the morning. Adding red light and blue light therapy to my skincare routine in combination, of course, with my skincare products has really helped to get rid of my acne, make my skin a lot more even and like plump and youthful looking. I don't know what was going on with my skin like a year and a half, two years ago, but I've tried a lot of products and this one I really do like. I will link this right down below in the description box if you guys want to check it out and shop. Alrighty, let's go ahead and jump into the makeup now. So up first, I have this new product from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Charlotte's Magic hydrator mist. It's supposed to give you radiant skin and it basically says that you can use this after you've done your skincare routine prior to makeup or you can use it on top of your makeup like throughout the day to kind of refresh. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to go in and spritz. Ooh, it actually, it has like a very light scent, but it's a really nice smell. It's like, it honestly smells like a spa. Like I can't pinpoint 
exactly what it is, but it's very nice. It's not overwhelming. Nice sprayer. It has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and Japanese kombu extract. Not 100% sure what the last one does, but love niacinamide, love hyaluronic acid. That felt really nice, and I feel like it did give a nice radiance to my skin, so I do like that. I feel like with sprayers, they're either water gun to the face or they're nice, and this one was nice. I like that. I will definitely use that again. We can use it at the end too, over top of our makeup, but I feel like that was a nice like refresher for my skin. Alrighty, up next, we gotta try out this new product from Hourglass. I'm super excited about this. So this is their hydrating skin tint veil. I love Hourglass's products. Their Vanish line, I love their concealer. It's so good. They have a foundation in that line as well. And that's a very full coverage where this is kind of going to be the opposite. It's supposed to be a much lighter coverage, just like skin tint. I saw Sophia Richie Grange use this on her complexion. It looks so dewy and beautiful. So I'm like, all right. I swatched it before because I have two different shades. I think seven is going to work for me. So I'm going to just squeeze some out onto my cheek. Not really sure like how much I should be using, but I'm gonna just go in with the sponge and blend it out. Just kind of tap it into the skin. Okay, yeah, shade-wise, this looks like it should work. Definitely light coverage, but feels really, really nice. Wasn't expecting it to be, you know, full coverage or anything. Obviously, it's skin tint. And I have been loving the lighter, just glowy sort of skin looks recently. So do a little on the nose and chin. I'm gonna go in with a brush on this side and see if that makes a difference. This is from Hourglass, I'm not sure. There's no name on the brush, but I can link it. It's like an angled brush. I typically like sponges for my application, but I wanna see if the brush changes the product at all. Honestly, no, I feel like it's still a light coverage product. Even with the brush, it's not like giving me a ton more coverage. So I'm just gonna use my sponge that I know and love. One thing that I do like is even though this is a lighter coverage product, I do feel like it's evening out my skin and giving me a nice base. And it also feels very hydrating. It's not overly glowy or dewy either, which is nice. So I feel like even if you have oily skin, I wouldn't necessarily be scared of this. It's not gonna give you like super, super glowy skin. It definitely does have a glowier finish to it. You can see like on the top of my cheeks, I do have a nice glow to my skin, but if anything, it just feels really hydrating. It doesn't feel like that sticky, too overly glowy sort of product. So I love this. Honestly, I feel like Hourglass always kills it on their complexion products. Obviously I wanna see how it wears throughout the day, so I will wear it for the rest of the day and update the description box down below. But upon first application, if you want something that's just very light, hydrating, a nice tint for every single day, I think this is beautiful. I really like the way that it looks on my skin, applied really well and feels really nice. Alrighty, now up for concealer. I'm very excited because we have a new concealer from Makeup Forever. This is their HD Skin Smooth and Blur Undetectable Concealer. So I love the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. It's absolutely beautiful. Looks like your skin, but better, so good. Gives a nice medium coverage, wears really well. So they came out with a concealer version. This is shade 2.1 Y and I'm going to apply this to my under eyes and we will see how this does, I'm gonna just apply it on one side. I do have another under eye product that I wanna to try too, but I'm doing the concealer first. I'm assuming this is going to be similar to the foundation where it's a more medium coverage, which is exactly how it looks when it's blending out. Ooh, that looks really nice though. Blend it out super easily, doesn't feel drying. I feel like it gave me the coverage that I'm looking for. My under eyes are like particularly puffy now too. Unfortunately, I think because like the sinus pressure that I have, which I always feel like makes them look a little more like bluish or purple, like it stands out a little more than usual when they're puffy. But this, I feel like did a good job of covering that up. I wouldn't say it's particularly brightening, but the shade that I have is pretty close to like my actual complexion. So I'm not using a lighter shade. So the next product that we have is actually supposed to brighten the under eyes. So I'm excited to try that with this. But if you want like a nice medium natural coverage concealer, this one looks really, really nice. I like it. Again, we'll update the description box with how it wears, but upon first application, I think it looks really nice and feels very nice. Okay, now the product that I wanna try on top, I'm very interested in. So this is new from NARS and this is their light reflecting eye brightener. So I thought with eye brighteners, a lot of times I would use them underneath concealer, but how it actually recommended to use this was a, you could either use it on its own just as like a light sort of veil to brighten the under eyes, or it said to use it on top of your favorite concealer to brighten. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I have a couple shades of this. Let me look. This one is in the shade night swan. I want to see what shade I think will work best. I think this one, honestly, out of the shades I have will work best to add a little bit of brightness. So I'm going to just go in my beauty sponge, get some on there and kind of tap. Oh wow, okay, yeah, that's adding a lot of brightness right off the bat. And I feel like it's adding coverage too. Cause like I said, you can use this product on its own. It's not technically a concealer. Again, it's an eye brightener, but it can be used on its own or on top of another concealer like we're doing it. 
but I feel like that like you can totally instantly see how much that just brightened up that under eye. If you have a concealer that's like a little too dark or it's just not super brightening and you wanna add brightness, I feel like this would be really good. I definitely wanna try it on its own too, like without concealer and just see, cause I feel like it would give a really nice brightness on its own underneath the eyes. If you just don't really want a lot of coverage, but you just want to brighten up a little bit, this would be really great. And with that Makeup Forever concealer, they are combining completely fine. Like they're not pilling or pulling at each other or becoming overly creasy. As always, of course, like I said, description box will be updated with how things wear throughout the day. So I will keep a close look on this and see if they wear together nicely. But upon first application, I really like that combo. Gave me nice brightness and does not feel like drying or cakey on my under eyes, especially because we use two products. So it could get like drying and cakey really fast. I'm gonna actually just bring what I have left in the center plane of my face to kind of brighten there too. Cause you can brighten, you know, wherever you please, not just your under eyes. And I feel like that looks really nice. This one has a little bit more of like a glowy finish, I would say, than the Makeup Forever one does. The Makeup Forever was more of like a natural finish. It wasn't necessarily super matte, but it definitely wasn't dewy. I think the NARS one gave it a little bit more luminosity, a little bit more of a glowy finish, but still looks really nice. I will set it with a little bit of powder when we get to that step just because I always do that with my under eye concealer, but feels good and looks good underneath the eyes. Okay, we have a lot of face products, so I'm trying to use as many of them as I can. The first one that I wanna use, these are from Nude Stick. So they came out with a couple, or actually quite a few different shades. A lot of them are more like blush tone shades, but I wanna use this one as contour because I have different blushes that I wanna try as well. We got a lot of new stuff, so. These are really cool. So I'm gonna use the shade Tan Glow, and we're gonna basically use this to like bronze up the skin, but these are really cool. They are, the Nudies Matte and Glow Core All Over Face Blush Color. So basically with these from Nude Sticks, no matter what color you're using, you can use them all over your face. So you can use them as a blush, you can use them as a contour, you can use them on your lips, on your eyes. Basically like an all over product. And if you see the outer part is matte and then the inner part is a, what they call glow core. So it's supposed to be like a glowy, dewy sort of product. So very interested to see how this works. I'm gonna go in on one side and just like draw it on my face. And then the other side, I'm gonna use the brush and kind of dot it on. So we'll see how it works better. I'm gonna start by just kind of drawing it on like that. And as you do that, the core does kind of go away. Um, we're gonna go in and just kind of blend this out. Definitely a more warm tone, which is perfect for bronzing. Kind of doing like a bronzer today, like bronzing and contouring all in one step. And that actually looks really, really nice. Blended really easily and gave me like a pretty, Beachy glow, okay. I feel like I don't even need to test it, like doing my brush first and then applying. I liked the way that it went on when I just drew it on and then blended it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sometimes when products don't blend as easy, it's easier to go in with your brush on the product and then tap into your face, but I didn't have any issues with this blending. So very, very pretty. I like this a lot actually. And like I said, they have a lot of other colors too that are more like traditional blush colors. Like this one I thought was really pretty. This is in the shade Magenta Magic, like a bright sort of pink. I'll put it on my hand to show you guys that how pretty is that. So lots of different options, but I wanna try as many products as I can today and I'm fortunately only have one face. So I went with the more bronzy tone, but I love this. Gave me a nice little beachy bronze to my face and blended super easily, so I like it. Okay, now for blush, I've really been wanting to try these new cream blushes. So these are the Maracucha Juicy Blushes from Tarte. I have this one in the shade Rose. I love the powder blushes from Tarte, but they came out with a cream blush formula and I really like their cream bronzer. So I have high hopes for the cream blush. I'm just gonna go in, get some on my brush and just kind of tap. Ooh, okay, pigment. I'm gonna <laughs> disperse that. I probably use a little too much. Oh, but this is pretty. I love this pretty rosy shade. Okay, I'm gonna go in and tap it in with my fingers to kind of sheer it out. You don't need a lot of this product. I obviously dip my brush a little too much, but it does blend very nicely into the skin and it gives a pretty kind of like glowy finish, like almost has a little bit of like a glossy feel to it and a slight tackiness to it, but nothing crazy. I definitely really, really like this. And if you like glowy skin, then you are going to love, love, love this. Again, very pigmented. So a little bit goes a long way with that. Okay, up next for highlighters. So Laura Mercier came out with these highlighters. Obviously y'all are probably thinking what I'm thinking. As soon as I saw these, I was like, oh, is that Charlotte Tilbury? And then I was like, oh, Laura Mercier. Okay. So they came out with these liquid highlighters and I have three shades here. So I have gold glow, peach bronze, and champagne pink. I haven't tried any of them, so let's just see together what they look like. Okay, so this one is gold glow, little gold. It's always like so satisfying. Do that right there. It looks very pretty. I'm assuming these are going to be like a little bit more of a natural highlight. I feel like when I think of Laura Mercier, I think of like beautiful, more natural, um, but I could be wrong. You know, they could be super blinding. Let's see. Oh, that one's pretty. This one is champagne pink 
right there. Very, very pretty. And then last but not least, we have peach bronze, which looks like that. Very, very pretty. This one on me would be more of a blush, but that would be so pretty as a blush. So I'm actually definitely gonna try this out tomorrow as a blush because how pretty is that color? Okay putting this aside to make sure that I use that tomorrow. But I think as a highlight, it would be a little too dark on me. So I'm gonna use the other two. I'll do one on each cheek so we can see both. So first let's do gold glow. I'm just kind of tap that on top of the cheeks. I'm gonna use my finger, blend. Okay, as I suspected, definitely more of a subtle highlight, which is what I would expect from Laura Mercier. So I'm not mad about it. That is it on my cheek right there. Gives a nice glow without any glitter. It's just more of like a sheen almost than an actual like glitter to the skin. Now let's do champagne pink on the other side. Right there, I'm using a little bit less on this side. I feel like I use a little too much on the other. Ooh, I like this one. This is really pretty with the more pinky undertone. And normally I like the more gold, but I feel like this morphs in so pretty with the blush already because it has that more pinky undertone and just looks really, really nice. So if you want a more of like glow from within sort of product, I think you'll really like this. I definitely use a lot more on this side so you can see it's a bit more glowy. I think it actually looks better personally with less to give you kind of that glowy from within more natural sort of look. I'm gonna go in and just set my under eyes with a little powder. Just using the, this is the CoverGirl True Blends Mineral Powder in the banana shade just to set everything. All right, went ahead and zoomed you guys in a little bit more. We're gonna go in on our brows now. We have new products from Dominique Cosmetics. We have a brow gel as well as her brow frame, which this on Kristen Dominique looks so good. Like her brows always look amazing. So I'm very interested. I have taupe and ash blonde. I want to see which shade I think will work better for me. So let's do ash blonde first. That is ash blonde. That actually looks like it should be pretty good. Sometimes the blonde shades are so light, but this one looks like it's pretty good. Okay, yeah, this one is taupe in case you're kind of in between shades. So I'm gonna go in with ash blonde. It's a little bit of a lighter shade that I'm gonna use on myself. So these are really cool. They look quite different. This is what the actual component looks like and then on the other side we get a spoolie and a sharpener it comes out so you get a lot of different stuff with this which is really cool so i'm gonna go in with the spoolie first and kind of spoolie my brows in place it looks like we're about to get some storms it's so dark behind me but i'm gonna go in now and fill my brows in i'm kind of using that straight across edge to outline the brows and get a precise line really like carve them out looks nice and pigmented so i like to do my brows i go in like that and do the underneath line now i'm going to jump to the brow gel so this is her brow blowout shaping gel looks like this i'm going to run that through my brows Ooh, this is good you see how that just picked my brows up like immediately Okay, I like this. And it's not like changing the color of my brows either. So that definitely made them nice and fluffy. I'm gonna let that dry. So we're gonna sit for like a minute or so. Okay, now that the brow gel has dried, which honestly, this may be like my new favorite brow gel. It was so good. I'm gonna go back in with the brow pen now on its side and kind of draw in little brow feathers. Oh, this is good. I really really like this. Like normally I use two different products. I use a pen and a pencil to like get this same look in combination with a brow gel where this is allowing me to do it with just one product because of the shape, how it has like the flat side. So I really, really like this. So I feel like this is gonna be like a new go-to for me for sure. I really, really like this. Very, very good. Okay, up next for a mascara, we have a new one. This is from KVD Beauty and this is the full sleeve mascara. I was looking at the wand on this and it's definitely a little bit different. Like the shape of it, it's a little bit more tapered. Like it starts bigger and then gets smaller. So I'm gonna just go in and coat my lashes with this and let's see how it does. I can definitely tell right off the bat, it's like a more sticky formula, which actually I personally like with my mascaras. I feel like it helps to lift the mascaras up and like leave them in place as compared to more watery ones sometimes. A lot of times with the more stickier mascaras though, you do have to watch out because they can easily clump up. I think more than like watery ones can. So that was about one coat, honestly, on both sides. Does look pretty good on my lashes. I don't think I would use any more because I do feel like it could get clumpy relatively easily, but I do feel like it looks pretty good on my lashes. I would like it maybe if it was like a little less sticky. I don't know. I don't know if sticky is the right word, but it's not a watery formula. I feel like if it was a little bit of a thinner formula, 
it might be a little bit less clumpy because I feel like even with that, it looks a little clumpy, but definitely not bad. I did get some of my eyelid. I'm gonna let that completely dry and then I'll just get it off. So I'm not gonna touch that right now, but let's go to now more blushes. You guys are probably like, enough with the blushes, but there's been so many new blushes. So these are new little blush palettes from Give Beauty. This is Gwen Stefani's beauty brand. Um, I have three different colorways, so let's see which one we wanna use. Basically, each of these palettes comes with two blushes. This one is called X Girlfriend, so like a bright pink. This one is Stars Aligned, which is more of like a neutral. And then this one, which is Lasting Love, which is a little bit more corally. I think I wanna use that bright pink one. It's giving me like Barbie vibes. And these are talc free. And basically with each of them, you get a satin shade, which that is that right there. That's actually very pretty pretty nice and pigmented and then a more shimmery shade which is that one right there it gives a little bit more like radiance so I'm gonna just mix them together but you do have the option to kind of separate them out but I'm just gonna mix in both and go in on my cheeks okay yes she's giving Barbie for sure definitely very pigmented as well I feel like almost too much Barbie I'm gonna go with some translucent to kind of sheer it a little bit okay that looks a little bit more realistic these things I swear Products just keep getting more and more pigmented, so you need literally like the lightest amount. Definitely very, very pretty. I like that they give you both the sheer and the satin option. This color on me, I feel like I don't love it. There are definitely other blush shades that I prefer the color of more. So I'd like to try more of her colorways. I don't think this one is like super flattering on my skin tone personally, but formula is definitely pigmented, like that they're talc free and like you get two different blush finishes in each little palette. All right, now as if we needed any more colors on our cheeks, I told you guys there's gonna be so many complexion products in this video, but I wanted to test everything or as much as I possibly could for you guys. So these are new from Too Faced and these are highlights. These are their Moon Crush out of this world highlighters. I should probably open them so I can show you guys the shades. So I have two different shades. This one is Summer Moon and then Shooting Star. Shooting Star is a little bit lighter, Summer Moon a little bit deeper. So let's use both of them. I'm gonna go in with Shooting Star on this side. Oh my goodness. Obviously we are layering it on top of that liquid highlight that we have from Laura Mercier. But if this, if you didn't want the more natural Laura Mercier highlight, this is giving blinding. Like, can you see? how crazy binding that is, wow, okay. Too Faced did not come to play. And I mean, they do say that they are out of this world highlighter, so I assumed it was probably gonna be like that. Very pretty. Now this one is a bit darker, but I still think I'll be able to use it. Again, the shade on this is Summer Moon. Ooh, this is like a rose gold. That's actually really pretty. I feel like on me, when I look forward, you can see the darkness though. So on me, it is a little bit too dark. If your skin tone is darker than mine, this is so pretty. I love this shade. I feel like I would use this as a blush topper, like keep it in my collection because it's like a true rose gold, but it has a little bit of like bronzy aspects to it. I just feel like for the summer, so stunning. So if your skin is similar to mine or a bit lighter, it would be a really really beautiful blush topper, or if you have a deeper skin tone, I think you would really like this highlight. It's so pretty. But nonetheless, both of these are very, very blinding, very, very glowy, which again, kind of what I expected from the name, but they definitely deliver. Okay, now for a lippy, I have been dying to try this shade. I feel like this is gonna be my perfect everyday shade. This is from the new Lunar Beauty Laura Lee Los Angeles collab. So it's basically Manny and Laura, they're two beauty brands collabs on a collection. And this lipstick, as soon as I saw it, the shade is Lanny, which is so funny, like a combo of Laura and Manny. Like this looks like this could be my everyday perfect nude color. I haven't even swatched it yet because I've been waiting. So let me go in on my lips. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. See, it's literally like super similar to my actual lip color. A pinky nude, and it's super creamy, but doesn't have like a really glowy finish to it. So I feel like it will last. Such a pretty shade. Obviously you can pair it with a bit of a deeper lip liner too. If you want to add a little bit more contour to the lips, I just wanted to apply it with no liner to see. And this color did not disappoint. Really, really like that. Beautiful nude and feels really nice on the lips too. And now for gloss, I'm going to go over top. I've been wanting to try this. This is the ultra glossy lip from ColourPop. So I have this in shade Lynx. And this is what it looks like. This is supposed to be like a pigmented sort of gloss. Ooh, smells really nice. I like the smell. Kind of gives a glossy finish to the lips. This actually pairs really nicely with that lipstick shade for a really pretty little nude lip moment. This is not sticky at all either. Very buttery and creamy feeling, so I like that. All right, and then last but not least, let's hit our skin with some of this Charlotte Magic Hydrator Mist again. You can see, okay, didn't change like the look of the makeup or anything like that. Definitely felt very nice. Didn't leave any weird like white splotches like some of these sprays can do, so I like that. I feel like we tried a lot of good products. I feel like I have so many cheek products on right now. Like obviously, I wouldn't necessarily wear this many cheek products in the same day, but when I wanna test that out for you guys, I try and put on as much as possible to show you guys how things work. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.